Today we are going to study together Unit 3, Lesson 1, The Natural World. Today's topic is Natural Disasters. Can you give me examples of natural disasters? Yes, earthquakes. What else? Volcanoes. That's right. What else? Hurricanes. Correct. But what is the meaning of the word disaster? A disaster is a sudden event that causes widespread destruction, lots of collateral damage or loss of life, brought about by forces other than the acts of human beings. So, is a natural disaster caused by human beings? No. Is it caused by nature? Yes. Is it a sudden event? Yes. What is the result of this event? Destruction. Lots of collateral damage or loss of life. Please repeat after me. Disaster. 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 Which part of speech is the word disaster? It is a noun. Wildfire. 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 Wildfire is also one of the natural disasters. But what is meant by the word wildfire? Wildfire is a noun which means a fire that moves quickly and cannot be controlled. Uh, can we control wildfire? No. Does it move slowly or quickly? It moves quickly. Wildfire. Hurricane. 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 Hurricane is a noun which means a storm that has very strong wind and moves over water. Hurricane. Is a hurricane a strong wind? Yes. Where does it move? It moves over water. Hurricane. Tsunami. 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 Tsunami is a noun which means a very large wave in the sea caused by an earthquake. Tsunami. So what causes a tsunami? It is caused by an earthquake. What exactly is a tsunami? It is a large wave in the sea. Tsunami. Equipment. 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 Equipment is a noun which means the tools that are used to do a certain job. Equipment. For example, the hammer is an equipment. It's a tool that's used to nail hammers, uh, nail, nail nails on the wall, actually. What else? Screwdriver is also an equipment. It's a tool. Equipment. Flood. 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 Flood is a noun which means a very large amount of water that covers an area. Can you see the picture? Yes, the cars, they are flooded by large amounts of water. Flood. 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 Earthquake. 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 Earthquake is a noun which means a sudden shaking of the Earth's surface that causes a lot of damage and destruction. Earthquake. So what exactly is an earthquake? It's a sudden shaking of the Earth's surface. What's the result? What is the outcome of this earthquake? Lots of damage and destruction. Earthquake. Volcano, volcano, volcano. Volcano is a noun which means a mountain with a large hole at the top through which lava is forced out. Volcano. Drought, drought, drought. Drought is a noun which means a long period of dry weather when there is no enough water for plants and animals. Drought. Drought. So when there is a drought, is there enough water for plants or animals? No. How is the weather like when, it, when there is a drought? The weather is dry. 
for a long period of time. Drought. Storm. 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 Storm is a noun which means a period of bad weather when there is a lot of rain, snow, strong winds and lightning. Storm. 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 So what exactly characterizes a storm? Lots of rain, snow, strong winds and lightning. Storm. Volunteers. 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 Volunteer is a noun which means someone who does a job willingly without being paid. Volunteer. Volunteer can be a noun. For example, these people, they are volunteers. Are they paid to do this job? No. Did someone force them? No, they did this job willingly. Okay, and we can also say they volunteered. So here volunteer comes as a verb. They volunteered to offer food, for example, for the poor. Volunteer. What can you see? Yes, it's a leaflet. 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 Leaflet is a noun which means printed sheet of paper containing information or for advertising and usually free. Leaflet. Leaflet. What exactly is a leaf, uh, leaflet? It's a sheet of paper containing information. Is it usually paid for? No, it's usually for free. What is the purpose of this leaflet? It is used for advertising. For example, a new restaurant is opening up and the owner of the restaurant wants to market his restaurant. He wants to let people know, so he distributes these leaflets. What can you see? It is a shovel. 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 Shovel is a noun which means a spade, something used to lift stones, sand or digging. A shovel is used for what? For digging. Exactly. And now what can you see? It is an... It's an axe. 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 An axe is usually used to chop down trees. Axe. Do it with passion or not at all. What does this coat represent? It represents a motto. 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 A motto is a short sentence that shows certain belief or principle. Motto. Shame. 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 Shame is a noun which means an unpleasant feeling, such as embarrassment and sadness, that you get when you make something wrong. Shame. Shame. Is shame a pleasant feeling? No, it's an unpleasant feeling. Do you feel proud when you are ashamed? No, you feel embarrassed. You feel sad. Why would someone feel ashamed? Because he or she did something wrong. Company. 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 Company is a noun which means business or business organization. Company. Damage. 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 Damage is a noun which means harm, injury caused when something unpleasant happens. For example, the result of natural disasters like earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes, uh, wildfires, 
the result is damage, injury caused when something unpleasant happens. Because these natural disasters, they're not really pleasant. Damage. Now, we're going to learn some new phrasal verbs. Do you remember what is meant by phrasal verb? A phrasal verb is a verb followed by a preposition. Combined together, they have a completely different meaning. For example, rely on. It is a phrasal verb because rely is a verb and it's followed by the preposition on. What does it mean, rely on? It means strongly depend on. For example, I rely on him as a good friend. What is the adjective of rely on? It is reliable. I rely on him so he is reliable. Another phrasal verb, get across. Why is it is a phrasal verb? Because get is a verb and it's followed by the preposition across. Together, combined, they mean to move from one place to another. Get across. Look after. Look is a verb followed by the preposition after. It means to take care of. Do something about. Do something about. Do something about. It's a phrasal verb which means to deal with a problem. Put out. Put out. Put out is a phrasal verb because put is a verb followed For by example, the preposition out. Put out the together fire. Combined, it means they mean to stop something from happening. Fire. Stop fire from spreading. Prevent. 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 Prevent is a verb which means to stop something from happening. Prevent and the noun is prevention. Encourage, encourage, encourage. Encourage is a verb which means to give someone the courage to do something. Encourage, spread, spread, spread. Spread is a verb which means to cause to become wider and larger. It means to expand. For example, the wildfire spread in the forest or the coronavirus spread all over the world. It means it expanded. Risked. 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 Risked is a verb which means to expose to danger. For example, firefighters risked their lives to stop the fire from spreading. To put out the fire. Risked. Encourage is a verb which means to give hope, support, or confidence. For example, my parents always encourage me to do my best. Courage is the noun. Encourage is the verb and courage is the noun, which means bravery. Direction, direction, direction. Direction is a noun which means the way something or someone moves, faces, or is aimed. Direction. It's a noun, and the verb is direct. Risk your life. Risk your life is a verb which means to put your life in a dangerous position. Is your life safe when you risk it? No, it is in danger. Risk your life. Now, let's read together. The Kurtuga wildfires. Now we are going to read an email sent by Paolo to Robbie. After reading, you are going to answer this question. How do the volunteers at the Forest Information Center get around the island? Do you remember Paolo? Robbie got this email from him. So let's see what he says. Dear Robbie, I'm writing to tell you what's been happening on Cortuga. Do you remember the white fires all over the forests here last year? Fortunately, no people died. 
but it was a terrible disaster for the island. The weather was hot, and the winds were blowing at high speeds and changing direction all the time. So the fire spread quickly, and it was difficult to put them out. It was terrifying. The people showed great courage and sometimes even risked their lives. The fires did a lot of damage to the trees and wildlife. It was such a shame for our beautiful island. Well, the good news is that we've been doing something about it and the situation has been improving. A big company wanted to buy the burnt land and build a hotel there, but the people of Cartuga said no. Instead, children and teachers from the local schools have volunteered and we have all been planting new trees in the area that was burnt. We went up there with some basic equipment like shovels and axes and did a great job. Our motto is one tree for every child. So far we've planted over a thousand trees. I've also been working as a volunteer at the Forest Information Center. To get our message across, we give, we give out leaflets that encourage people to look after the forest. We have to rely on local people as well as visitors and tourists to help look after Kortuga. We also cycle around. So, what is the, an what is the answer to the question we read before? reading the email. How do the volunteers at the Forest Information Center get around the island? Paulo is a volunteer at the Information Center, the Forest Information Center, and he said they cycle around. So he gets around and other volunteers get around the island by bicycle. They cycle around. We also cycle around and check that people are not doing anything to cause a fire. We want to prevent another disaster like this. How are the others? I can't wait to see you all again. Are you coming back to Kurtuga this summer? Write soon, Paolo. Comprehension. Answer the questions. 1. Why did the fire spread quickly? Because the winds were blowing at high speeds and changing direction all the time. 2. What did a company want to do? A company wanted to buy the land where the fire was and build a hotel. 3. Who have been planting trees? Children and teachers from the local schools. 4. How many trees have they already planted? Over a thousand. 5. Where has Paulo been working? He's been working at the Forest Information Center. 6. What does he give to people? Leaflets that encourage people to look after the forest. Vocabulary. Circle the correct words. 1. Let's a tree house in the garden. Let's build a tree house in the garden. 2. They need more water to the fire. They need more water to put out the fire. Put out is a phrasal verb which means to stop something from happening. They need water to stop fire from spreading. 3. Follow these rules to an accident. Follow these rules to prevent an accident. To stop it from happening. 4. Fires quickly when it's windy. Fires spread quickly when it's windy. They expand quickly when it's windy. 5. It will cost a lot to fix the to our roof. It will cost a lot to fix the damage to our roof. It will cost a lot to fix the bad effect that caused harm on our roof, to our roof. Six, this gives information about wild flowers. This leaflet, this printed sheet of paper containing information 
about wild flowers means a leaflet. Seven. He doesn't work for money. He is a volunteer. He is doing this job willingly. Nobody forced him and he is not being paid. He is a volunteer. Eight. He used a or an to cut down a burn tree. He used an axe because an axe is used to cut trees, to chop trees. On the other hand, shovel, a shovel is used to dig sand or soil in the ground. It's used for digging, but an axe is used for cutting. Vocabulary. Match. Match the pictures from A to H with the letters, with the numbers from 1 to 8. 1. Wildfire. 2. Hurricane. 3. Flood. 4. Earthquake. 5. Volcano. 6. Drought. 7. Storm. 8. Tsunami. 1. C. 2. G. 3. E. 4. F. 5. B. 6. H. 7. D. 8. A. Now let's wrap up. Can you give me a synonym for terrible? Horrible or terrifying. A synonym for courage? Bravery. A synonym for volunteer? Unforced. A synonym for motto? Slogan. A synonym for improve? Develop. What about antonyms? Opposites. What is the opposite? What is the antonym of fortunately? Unfortunately. The antonym of volunteer is forced. The antonym of agree is disagree. Thank you for watching. Bye.